Here, we're looking at the user pattern training utility in FineReader Engine 11. To use this interface, you first open a document. Once the document is open, as you can see, you can either train a new user pattern or apply an existing user pattern to recognize the document with. In this case, we're going to learn how to train a new user pattern. So we select this radio button. We press the Recognize button. It asks you what file name and where you want to store your user pattern file. Then it pops up this dialog and allows you to go through and select various bitmaps to be recognized as various characters. So in this case, it's identified this bitmap as an R and we're going to leave it that way, so we will just skip. The T will do the same thing. The B will do the same thing. The L will do the same thing. You continue on this way through each of the bitmaps that it identifies. In this case, what we're going to do is we want this, when it sees this pattern or this bitmap, we're going to have it create the C character. And now we press train. Okay, we continue along. Now we have the letter C. We're going to skip that. We're going to skip the letter R. For this one, we're going to train, and this time we're going to put in the character that is the R with the circle around it. We're going to train that. And now it moves to the next. In this case, the segmentation has found a piece of a, uh, pixels that we don't want included. So we grab the box and move it down. And now it believes it's a Y, and we're happy with that. So we're going to train this. This is a C. It's fine. We're going to skip. I'm going to skip, skip. And now we're done. As you can see, it then performs the character recognition using this trained pattern on your sample image. You can use the zoom in buttons to zoom in and look at the results. And you will notice that in this case, the character recognition has now changed the double quotes into the character with the C and the circle and the character with the R and the circle with what had been the double quotes before. This is the way that the user pattern training utility is used with FineReader Engine 11.